All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rachakodash. I want to send all honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the election. Doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Continuing to chant down Babylon the Great, i.e., America, by way of biblical prophecy. So, uh, this is a video that was sent by one of the brothers. And, um,. <laughs> As I watch this video, or more of listened to it, 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 it reminded me of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 6. Okay, because as you see by the title, Tyra Banks denies the truth. Okay, now as you can see, this video was, uh, was posted four years ago. Uh, I'm not sure how old the episode is itself, but um, yeah, this video was posted four years ago, and this just shows you how our people are concerning the truth now when you see these <laughs> these three edomite women that are sitting there on the couch right they're, they're straight up giving it to her wrong they're straight up giving her the scriptures wrong and you know what she can't handle it because there are things there are things um that are hard to swallow concerning these concerning this truth man you know one thing that she addressed first and foremost was homosexuality you know, but then you, if you watch this video, which I'm not going to play it, you know, these, these, these three, either my women, they go in, all right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, Tyra Banks' uh, outlet or attempted outlet was getting crowd involvement, okay, concerning racism, concerning homosexuality and various other topics, right? So I'm going to get the scripture. You now, I just wanted to give my <laughs> two cents on it. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 6. As a matter of fact, I'll start at verse 4. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. Okay? And we understand that the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans today. All right? Which when you, um, when you look up Tyra Banks, her father is a straight-up Jake. All right? You're straight-up Negro, meaning she is an Israelite. Okay? Because... Your nationality is based off of your father, not your mother. Contrary to popular belief. All right. So it says, For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. Now these these three women, these three women here on the screen, you know, they don't they don't give off the the spirit of an Israelite. But nonetheless, they were speaking truth. Okay? They were speaking the truth, and then a lot of people couldn't handle it, man. All right? A lot of people couldn't handle it, starting with Tyra Banks. You know, and, and one of her um, defenses, you know, when the truth was coming out, is to get loud and to slander. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, pretty much a defamation of character, you know, which is the same thing that our people this day and age do to us. All right? When we hit the highways and the hedges. And we're speaking things that people don't, that, that rub people the wrong way. What do they do? They start uh, defaming our character. You know, uh, we had at a point in time, people said that we're on drugs. Or we're, uh, we're pedophiles. We're this and we're that. That's because when you bring out the law, such as the commandments and, and, and the prophecies, ultimately, people can't understand them because it's not the understanding that's not given unto them. Going into the book of Isaiah, the 29th chapter, all right, where it says that the most high, matter of fact, I'll grab that. Um, you see, the seers, right? So, uh, I actually want to get a couple of precepts. This is Isaiah 29 and verse 10, right? It says, For the Lord Yahweh hath poured out upon, the, upon you the spirit of deep sleep and closed your eyes. And you can tell once you watch this video how much of a slumber that Tyra Banks is, you know, and in in, in all the people, the majority of the people that were cheering and clapping in the, uh, in the audience when Tyra Banks decided she wanted to defame their character. Okay? Now, ultimately, if these women are Edomites, which through the spirit I believe they are, they're going to be destroyed either way. Okay? But the fact that they put the truth out there, you know, that, that shows you for, for furthermore, you know, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this in this fashion because, you know, you have in a world where we'll speak something prophetically or biblically and Jake won't believe it until they hear Esau Edom say it 
Well, <laughs> now the truth should be believed, right? You know, because there's an Edomite speaking it. Okay. So reading on says the prophets and your rulers, the seers have you covered. All right, and jump down to uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 10. It says, we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. You know, and with these, these Edomite women were speaking, were right things, biblically. The only thing that they were off on was the hell doctrine, okay? You know, and then they had the right intent. You know, they were speaking things that were, that were accurate except the hell doctrine, okay? Because there's no such thing as hell, all right? Uh, actual place hell, because hell is just a condition uh, being um, a, con a state of torment or a state of distress, okay? Now you have people use the term, they're going through hell, okay? But they were, they were speaking truth, okay? And another thing that she was distraught about was the fact that these, these are, as she, as she quoted, these young, beautiful women being, uh, being the woman's daughters, you know, how, how, how are they, um, I forget exactly how she asked it, but pretty much how, how are you comfortable with this in a, in a roundabout way? Okay, you have to watch the video. That's, th those words are not exact. But, you know, she was questioning their involvement, okay? By them being young and, you know, having so much in their life ahead of them. Well, guess what? <laughs> the scriptures tell us in uh, Proverbs 22 and verse 6, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he shall not depart from it, okay? Also in the book of, I believe, um, Deuteronomy, um, it, where it says... No, you should you should teach these law statutes and commandments to your children when thou lies down and when thou rises up, right? So it, there's nothing wrong with them knowing this truth or knowing the truth, um, knowing the true prophecies and speaking that truth in front of an audience. Okay, let me finish this. It says the prophets and your uh, so like it. it says speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seats, because that's all the people want to hear is smooth things. You know, that's why it says in, um, I believe, the book of Timothy it says they shall heap unto themselves uh, um, teachers having itching ears, desiring to hear something pleasant. Right. So I'm going to get back to this precept and then I'm going to close it out. This is um, Ezekiel chapter three and verse six. Right. Uh, so like three and five it says for thou for thou art not sent to a people of a strange language and of a hard speech, but to the house of Israel, not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou canst not understand, surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. And that just shows you that how, how, how rebellious our people is, man. Because here it is that the Most High has sent, if he has sent prophets, you know, to teach this word unto heathens, you know, to actual Gentiles, those that are not of the nation of Israel, he said they would have hearkened. But here it is, you have your own people, you know, when they hear these words, they're, they're offended by the uh the bluntness of the scriptures by the by the um the judgments of the scriptures uh, get one more precept that just came to mind in isaiah chapter one it's isaiah chapter one and verse three it says the ox knoweth its owner and the ass his master's crib but israel doth not know my people doth not consider you know you there's no way that you can know the lord without first receiving these props first without having the spirit you know, once i put the spirit on you first and foremost but you have to um be of an uh an, an open mind uh, uh, um because it says in the book of wisdom of solomon the first chapter i believe the 15 verse it says for uh for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter so that spirit of the most high the spirit of wisdom from the most high has to be placed upon you and then you know that comes with understanding you know and being able to receive these things without bucking up you know, which is one thing she was doing, was bucking up against the truth. All right? <laughs> which the Most High is going to put a... And that's why, you, that's, why, that's why that bitch wanted to... That's why the bitch was bleaching her skin, man. You know, trying to escape from being an Israelite. Trying to escape the harsh reality of being an Israelite, man. You know, and then, you know, you have her denying the truth. Which just, I believe, you know, just from the look of the setting, is from the late 90s or the early 2000s. You know, so it's a long time ago where she denied this truth, man. You know, and do you think the Most High is going to forget that? Hell no. Right? 
So it says this, Isaiah 1 and verse 3. He says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, simple nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Right? So, hey. <laughs> and then, then it says, why should you be stricken anymore? The Most High is going to put a vicious judgment on, on someone like this that keeps this mindset and, 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 and all of her followers that truly believe in her follower after she clearly and blatantly denied the truth. Okay? So I just wanted to give my two cents on that. Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Rechakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Once again, peace, love, and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.